Hello and welcome to the Magic Quiz, where we take four of the greatest magicians that we could find from the depths of the internet and watch as they pit their wits against one another and against the quick-fire questions of magic and mystery, quizzery and wizardry. This is the Magic Quiz. Let's meet our contestants. Zooming in this week, we have... Hi, I am the real Jay Sankey. The real Jay Sankey. I am Daniel Madison, and this is Charlie Madison. <laughs> I am Mark Wooding, or the great Woo. Uh, okay. Let's begin our first round where we ask each of our magicians a simple question to calm their nerves and ease them into the quiz. The first question goes to Jay Sankey. Jay, what is the last letter of your name? Why? Oh, all right, no need for the attitude. I'm only asking. The second question is for Daniel Madison. Daniel, can you spell the shortened version of the phrase thank you? Spell thanks. Funk. F A N K. Funk. Uh, no. <laughs> the next question is for. The Great Wu Ding. Great Wu Ding. What is the correct term that best describes the process of one basketball player throwing the ball to another basketball player of the same team and that subsequent basketball player catching the ball? Uh, pass. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Which surely means the last question of the round is for... Chris Ramsey. Chris. On the majority of jigsaw piece puzzle boxes, there is usually a number followed by which word? Peace, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Jay Sankey has zero, Daniel Madison has zero, uh, The Great Wuding has one, and Chris Ramsey also has one. So let's get straight into our second round. Quick fire questions. Fingers on buzzers. Which magician first came up with the principle of tearing a corner off of a playing card? <laughs> oh, see we've uh, <clears throat> stumbled into a, a sore topic. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> what? That was from two years ago. Oh, <clears throat> I, I only learnt about it last week. Sorry. Still, still a sore point. Sorry, we'll move on, we'll move on. A person who puts forward a case on behalf of somebody else can be known by which single word? Advocate. Advocate. Correct. Hey, Max Raven told you the answer. Uh, no, this is Charlie Madison. Charlie Madison. All right, you two, calm down or I'll have to separate you. Oh, Charlie. Charlie bit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh. Ouch, 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 Charlie. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Charlie bit me. And that really hurt. And it's still hurting. Ouch, Charlie. Huh. I see your references are also old and unoriginal. That's enough, you two. Let's continue with the quiz. In 1993, Nelson Mandela won which Nobel Prize? 
piece rock. Correct. Next question. What is the name of the children's game where the children copy the actions of the speaker when and only when the speaker says a particular phrase? Simon says. Simon says. Correct. Uh, alternatively, you can visit me on my Instagram channel, Sankey Says. Sankey Says. Go to Instagram, uh, make your way through all the grams, the kilograms of Insta, whatever Insta is. Instantly get it out of the way and visit, click on my Instagram channel, Sankey Says. Sankey Says. Uh, yeah, alright. Enough with the plugs. Enough with the plugs. Next question. Fill in the blank. Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not blank go. Do not collect two hundred pounds. Um. Oh, come on. Um. Oh, pass. Pass. Correct. So at the end of that round, Jay has one. Daniel has one. The Great Ding has two, and Chris Ramsey also has two. So now moving on to round three. Did you fool Penn and Teller? Jay Sankey, you have a YouTube video entitled Fool a Card Trick. And in the description to that video, it says, this is the innovative Fool a Card Trick I performed for Penn and Teller on Foolers. But my question to you is, did you actually fool Penn and Teller? Well, uh, no. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Daniel Madison. Did you fool Penn and Teller? Well, I wasn't actually trying to fool them. I wanted them to see. That's why I sat them over there where they could see the dirty, deceptive moves. I wanted them to see so that they would say how good I was at the deception. And they would therefore publicise how good I was. They would be an advocate for me. They would promote me. It's just, I wasn't actually trying, you see, I wasn't trying to fool them. I, want, I wanted them, I wanted them to see my deception. So did you fool them or not? Oh, uh, well, uh, no, no. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the Great Wu Ding, did you fool them? Pass, pass, pass. Chris Ramsey. Did you fool Penn and Teller? Chris? Chris? Uh, he actually did though, right? Well, with a little help from his friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. <laughs> So at the end of that round, we have a four-way tie with all of our magicians equally together on two points. That brings us to our fourth and final round, questions I haven't asked already. Uh, in this round, for you playing along at home, there will be one question that I have asked already. Can you spot it? Uh, before you go on, I need to announce the 12 lucky winners from last week's competition. You 12, the next 12 names I'm about to read, you won. You won. So let me switch from my uh, 2 dollars reading glasses to my, to my actual glasses so I can read. And back in character. So the next 12 of you, the next 12 names I read, you won my, my torn corner effect. So if I read your name, you won. Uh, who have we got? we got David Murphy, Peter Ford Magic, Robert Shaw, uh, the fourth? Robert Shaw the fourth? Are, are you the fourth Robert Shaw in your family? Or are there four of you? <laughs> Robert Shaw the fourth? Sean McDowell? McDowell? Uh, Mick Arrow? Mick Arrow? Mick McArrow? McArrow? Uh, Chrisley? 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 Uh, Card Mac Tutorials? You won. And I'll be coming over to your channel later today because I've often wanted a tutorial to teach me how to be a card man. Looking forward to it. <laughs> you won. You won. Uh, Ken Morta Mortenson. Mortenson. Ken. Ken. Ken Morrison. Ken Morrison. 
Karen Brooks, Brooks, Cow Karen, uh, King O dot K, King King O okay. K. <laughs> you won, you won. Uh, George, George Anidu, George Anidu, <laughs> Anido, Anido, George Anido. Jorge, Jorge, no, George, George Anido, and the Gaff Academy, the Gaff Academy. So if I read your name, if I read your name, you won. Uh, you shoot off an email uh, to my team at contact at Sankey Magic. Uh, post your, your real name, your YouTube name, and I will get that sent out to you. No, we won't, because I'm not the real Jay Sankey. You haven't really won. This was a fake competition. Don't, don't send Jay an email, please. Great. <clears throat> yeah, okay, next question. A route or road through the mountains is commonly known as a mountain what? Um, a, um, a, uh, ah, uh, pass. Correct. <laughs> we asked a hundred people to complete the phrase blank of cake, blank of cake. 76 people answered with slice. What did the remaining 24 people answer to the phrase blank of cake? Peace, ra, correct. How do you spell the shortened version of the phrase thank you? Spell thanks. Thanks. F-A-N-X. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Uh, no. <coughs> well, that sound marks the end of the round and the end of the show. So let's have a look at the scores. We have Jay Sankey on two and also Daniel Madison on two. But tied in first place on three points is the great Wu Ding and Chris Ramsey. So it's time for a tie break question. It's tie break time. Okay, silence in the studio, please. Chris and the great Wu Ding need to concentrate. It's tie break time. Okay, here's the question. In a game of dominoes, when someone can't go on their turn, it is customary to tap the dominoes twice on the table. Another way to signify that you can't go is to say which single word? Um, uh, oh, pass. <laughs> Correct. So the great Wu Ding clinches it and is this week's winner. Join us next time when we will take four new magicians and watch as they pit their wits against one another and against the quick fire questions of magic and mystery, quizzery and wizardry. Join us next time for the magic quiz. Every time I go to wipe my brow, it's, it's dry, yet I know I'm sweating. Just get a, a faint aroma of a latex. Even, it's so hot, it's so hot that my tattoos are melting. My tattoos are melting. And the wife took hours, hours doing these. You can't even see these ones. Hours, hours, they're melting, melting off. It is too hot, too hot. I'm losing my beard, I'm losing my patience, I'm, I'm losing the will to live, Charlie, the will to live. Oh, my beard. Oh. Oh. It's just pretend. Just pretend. I'm not, I, I'm not actually Daniel Madison. It's, it's me. It's me. It's me. A very sweaty great wounding. Yeah. Ugh. I'm Jay Sankey. No, no, I'm not. It's me. Oh, it's me. It's, it's the great Wu Ding. Oh, it was hot in there. I don't know how Jay has that on the whole time. 
So apologies, apologies to uh, Jay Sankey, to Daniel Madison and to Chris Ramsey. No offence was meant, um, if anything, by kind of doing, they weren't really impressions, were they? They were awful, but by doing that is my way of uh, honouring you. Um, take it as a compliment. Uh, and even if you don't take it as a compliment, even if you are offended, any of the four of you, um, I'll be quite pleased because that means you'll have seen this video, which you won't have. Why, why would you have? Um, yeah. So, to, to the rest of you that, that aren't those magicians, did you enjoy this? If so, let me know in the comments. I do have plans for uh, a quiz number two, but if you'd like this to be a regular thing, maybe a full series of the magic quiz, say so in the comments, and I'll see if I can do maybe one a month, um, because I've, I have already spent my uh, beard budget, so um, I might be scraping the bottom of the barrel soon, but uh, yeah, if I get some more cash for the the beard and wig budget, uh, we'll do another magic quiz. Why not? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do say in the comments if you did. And I'll, I'll see you next time. I am Mark Wooding, or the great Woo. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, it's so silly. The great woo ding just did a thing. Click here to go to my Instagram channel, Sankey Says. Click here if you want to go to my other Instagram channel, The Real J Sankey. Click here for no reason at all. And click here if you want to be continually frustrated that nothing is happening. Ferociously click here.